In previous videos, we've talked about polar bonds and various intermolecular forces of attraction. One effect of these is what's called the hydrophobic interaction, which deals with certain things that mix or don't mix well with water. As you can see right here, you have uh, something called ethyl alcohol, which has a small negative and positive charge right here. Because of those separation of charges, it's attracted to the different parts of a water molecule. And therefore, it's called hydrophilic, meaning water loving. In this case, it'll mix well with the water. Whereas, if you, go, if you look up here, and you have a long hydrocarbon chain, it won't mix well with water because there are no separation of charges. Everything is very nonpolar. So, whenever you have these things all trying to mix together, there'll be a clear dividing line between those substances that are hydrophobic and those substances that are hydrophilic. And that'll become very important later on in biology. Um, we're gonna have a quick demonstration for you. This is vegetable oil, which you can find in your kitchen. And if you mix a little bit with water, they mix a little bit, but as you can see, it separates out right at the middle. Here we have another substance, substance which is alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol, which is another, uh, this is a type of rubbing alcohol. In this one, it's isopropyl, which isn't very important, but it's hydrophilic. So as we pour it in, you'll be able to see that it'll settle in right in with the water because it mixes well with water. Yeah.